It should go without saying that the Oscars don't really mean a whole lot, amounting to not much more than Hollywood back padding. I became an artist and thank God I did because we are the only profession that celebrates what it means to live a life. Okay. But knowing that, movie enthusiasts across the nation still tune in, cheering and hoping their preferred movies get some recognition. The show was running fairly smoothly last night with no real surprises. Every winner felt deserved and host Jimmy Kimmel mostly shied away from politics, which was a great move on his behalf. Then Bonnie and Clyde co-stars Warren Beatty and Faye Dunaway came on stage to present the award for best picture. And with seemingly insurmountable buzz surrounding La La Land this award season, the winner seemed inevitable. And then it happened. La La Land was officially best picture, until it wasn't. It turns out Warren Beatty was mistakenly given the card for best actress instead of the card for the actual best picture winner, Moonlight. Liberals everywhere squealed with glee at the unexpected switcheroo, and according to some, the win was the greatest enactment of white privilege giving way to a new America. Best picture of the year goes to a stage full of white men relinquishing their gold to black people. Moonlight is the actual winner of the Best Motion Picture Award. Oscars white viewers? What if now Moonlight also becomes a verb meaning getting your due despite white shenanigans? Okay, it's important to take a closer look at the rationale behind the outcome and to make some sense of whether or not this win was merited or a result of the film ticking the right boxes and last minute political activism. First, some perspective. During last year's Oscars, no black people were nominated in any of the acting categories and the hashtag Oscars so white went viral, claiming the Oscars were deliberately marginalizing black people. The Academy responded loudly and clearly this year to that hashtag with black people being nominated in every acting category. Moonlight features an all black cast in stark contrast to La La Land's mostly white cast. Box checked. Moonlight is also the story of a gay man and how he comes to terms with his sexuality. So there's also intersectionality, black and gay. Moonlight's portrayal of the ghetto in which Sharon lives is rather tame for a gritty story like this, and some of the story beats, particularly one in the middle involving a bully suddenly telling another student to beat up Sharon, feels contrived. Naomi Harris brings a certain authenticity to Sharon's druggy mother, but she's sidelined and underwritten to the point where we never really get a sense of the full extent of her addiction. Another problem is Sharon's emptiness as a character. It makes sense that a timid kid searching for his identity in a world that rejects him would be a passive protagonist, but it seems like his only role in the film is to suffer without many traits beyond that of a victim, and it feels unrealistically cruel. One has to wonder, did the film win because of its objective artistic value, which is highly debatable, or as the left suggests, was it simply an act of liberal wish fulfillment to compensate for the fact that Hillary Clinton lost the election, and to also serve as a thinly veiled shot at Trump? Moonlight won Best Picture and Hillary Clinton is President. These are important questions to consider as now the line of political correctness and recognizing artistic quality has never seemed more blurred. Hello. If you guys enjoyed that, consider pledging a dollar, maybe two dollars. Don't want to get crazy, but you can pledge at patreon.com forward slash 1791L. See you next time. Thank you.